go tweet, 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 rock and poppy. Hi guys, this is Andrew with RockClass101.com, and in this week's U-Bass lesson, we're going to be learning Rock and Robin. So if you missed our ukulele lesson on this tune, then check out this link right here. I'll also put it in the description box below, but it was our first one to feature Katie from One Music School. So with this U-Bass lesson, Stephen's going to be teaching you the entire tune in this YouTube video. But if you want to get the tabs to print off and follow along with, that's going to be available for premium members at rockclass101.com. So you can click this link or you can go to the site and do a search for Rock and Robin U-Base. Now on that page will also be the on-screen tab viewer. Now this is a really cool feature where you can hit play, watch the tab scroll across in real time. You can highlight bars to loop sections. Just a really great asset in learning this song that much easier. And last but not least, What's really cool is that we've included backing tracks. So we have a backing track that you can download that has all of the instruments on it except the U-Bass, and it's gonna be available in three different speeds. So we have 100%, 75%, and 50% speed. So a really fun way for you guys to jam along and rock out at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand it off to Steven to teach you guys how to play this tune, and then I'll see you at the end of the video. Hey guys, Steven Cox here. And today we're going to learn this bass line in a simpler form. We're just going to learn the different sections. So we're going to learn one version of the verse, one version of the chorus, one version of the bridge, and one version of the intro and the outro. So you can use this version of the verse any time a verse happens, but I did have variations that you can find on the tabs. So let's jump right in with the intro. The intro sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So for the right hand technique, we're just going to use these two fingers on the right hand. I usually like to anchor my thumb either on the E string to mute it or on the body. And we're mostly just going to alternate between those fingers. Every now and then it's easier to start a phrase on the pointer finger. So even if you end the phrase before it on the middle finger, you can jump back to the pointer finger to start a new phrase. So the first note of the intro comes in on the end of beat four, and it's the third fret on the E string. And then we immediately follow that with the fifth fret on the E string. And that's on beat one of the next measure. So then after we play this fifth fret, we're just gonna keep playing three, five. Three, five. So we're really going to do this a total of four times. Three times that are repeated exactly the same. The fourth time, there's a little bit more to the last measure. So we're going to play this three times in a row. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. That's the second one. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So we really do it four times in a row. And on the fourth time, we're going to hit another five on beat three of the measure. And then after that, we're going to go to the next measure and hit the fifth fret two more times. So this will be the fourth time through the intro. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's play the whole intro together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, 
All right, so if you're looking at the tabs, you'll notice there's one more note in the last measure of the intro, but it's a pickup to the verse. So I really consider this part of the verse. The verse is almost exactly like the intro. We do the three, five thing. And we do that four times total. The last measure of the verse, so this is measure nine on the tabs, we're going to have a little walk up leading into the chorus. So this sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And that's it. So that's going to be the fifth fret on the E string, the seventh fret on the E string, and the fourth fret on the A string. So let's just run through the last repeat on the verse into that little walk up. So it'll be the last of the third fret, fifth fret, then we'll come into that walk up. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, guys, so it's time for the chorus. For the chorus, we're going to learn it by ear, so listen really closely to the rhythm as I play it, and then that way you'll have a head start on learning the chorus. One, two, three, four. Alright, so the chorus really only has one rhythm that gets repeated throughout it, and that rhythm goes from the first to the second measure of the chorus. Then the third and the fourth measure of the chorus, and the fifth and the sixth measure, all those are the same two-bar rhythm. So the first note of the chorus is the fifth fret on the A string. Then we're going to play the fourth fret on the D string, and the seventh fret on the D string. Then we're going to do those same three notes again with that slightly different rhythm in the second measure. Then after that, we're going to play the open E string. So that's the first two measures. Let's play them together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and. So that last open is kind of more muted. So it's really... So you can kind of ghost the note or play the open string, whatever you feel like sounds better. So now let's go on to the third measure of the chorus. We're going to be playing the fifth fret on the E string, the fourth fret on the A string, and the seventh fret on the A string. Then after that, the next measure is going to be the fifth fret on the E string, the fourth fret again on the A string, but then this time we're going to do the fifth fret on the A string, and then we're going to kind of ghost an open A string, leading into the seventh fret in the next measure. So here's measures three and four of the chorus. Let's play them together. One, two, three, four. So after we ghosted the open A string, which you can either play like that or you can play open, then we're going to end up on the seventh fret. So now that we're there, let's go through the first four measures and then we'll end on that seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. So on the 5th and 6th measure of the chorus, once again we're starting on that 7th fret that we've already hit on the A string, then we're going to move down to the 7th fret on the E string, then back to the 7th fret on the A string. So three lucky 7s. Then on the 6th measure, we're going to play the 5th fret on the A string three times in a row. And then we're going to hit the open E string, which we're kind of going to ghost once again. You can either do it like that, or you can hit it just full on. Up to you. This is the sixth measure, just so you get an idea of what I'm saying. One and two and three and four and. 
So let's play the fifth and sixth measure of the chorus together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. All right, so here's the seventh and eighth measure of the chorus. This is the last little part of it. So it's the same rhythm, and really the seventh measure is just like the third measure of the chorus. So that's just five on the E string, four on the A string, and seven on the A string. And in the last measure of the chorus, we use those same notes followed by an open string. And then that'll lead us into the downbeat of verse two. So here's measures seven and eight of the chorus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one. So let's do measures seven and eight a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. So that's the end of the chorus. Let's play the last half of it together, starting on the fifth measure of the chorus. One, two, three, four. Now let's play the entire chorus together. One, two, three, four. Alright guys, that's the chorus. If you'd like to play the chorus back a little bit slower, you can always go to the YouTube settings and slow down the playback speed. Alright, so after the chorus, we have another verse and another chorus. I played a slight variation on the original version. If you'd like that variation, it's on the tabs, but we're going to skip all the way to the ukulele solo. The ukulele solo sounds like this. So let's start with the first two measures. They sound like this. Now you might recognize that rhythm from the chorus. These two measures have the exact same rhythm with the only exception of the first note's going to be held out instead of having a rest after it. So instead of going, you're going to go one, two, and hold it out the whole time. So this first measure starts on the fifth fret of the E string. Then we play the 4th fret and the 7th fret on the A string. Then we're going to move down to the 7th fret of the D string. Then the 5th fret of the D string. The 4th fret of the D string. And then we're going to play the 7th fret on the A string. And remember, this is using the same rhythm from the chorus. Let's play this together. One two, three, four. So I ended on the fifth fret of the E string, which is going into measure three. And the reason I did this is because the seventh fret is really a pickup to that note. So let's move on to measures three and four of the solo. One, two, three, four. Alright, so these two measures are almost exactly like something we did at the end of the chorus. So this is the 5th fret on the E string, 4th fret and 7th fret on the A string. Then those same notes, and then we're going to hit the open A string at the end of that. And that open A string is a pickup once again to the next measure. One, two, three, four. So 
So now we're on the fifth measure of the solo section, and that's going to be doing a very similar thing, only we're going to start on the fifth fret of the A string, and then move to the fourth fret of the D string, and the seventh fret of the D string. And then the next measure is a little bit trickier. I'm going to play these two back to back so you know what we're working on. So this is the fifth fret on the A string, the fourth and the seventh fret on the D string. Then this next measure, we're going to play the fifth fret on the A string. And then we're going to do this little walk up where we do second fret on the E string, then third fret on the E string. And then instead of hitting the fourth fret, which you could also do if you wanted to, I like doing that um, ghost note where I'm kind of hitting the open E string instead. And then after that, that picks up into the next measure, which is going to be a fifth fret on the E string. Let's do the fifth and sixth measure of the solo section together. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So the seventh and the eighth measure are very similar to the third and fourth measure of this section with one little difference. So in the seventh measure, we're going to play the fifth fret of the E string, the fourth fret of the A string, and the seventh fret of the A string. And then on the eighth measure, we're going to play the fifth fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A string, then fifth fret and then we're going to hit an open A string. And we're going to kind of ghost it again. You can either do that kind of sound or you can play it just normal. So let's play those two measures together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now let's play the fifth through the eighth measure of this section together. One, two, three, four. So measure nine we've seen before in the chorus, and this is three lucky sevens. We're going to play the seventh fret on the A string, then the seventh fret on the E string, then the seventh fret on the A string again. So let me play the ninth and tenth measure for you. One, two, three, four. One. After we've played the three lucky sevens, we're going to play the fifth fret on the A string, the fourth fret on the D string, followed by the fifth and the sixth fret on the same string. So we've got five, four, five, six, and then that's going to lead us into the seventh fret for the next measure. But let's play the ninth and tenth measure together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the eleventh and twelfth measure of this section sound like this. So these are the only two measures with a different rhythm in this section. And this rhythm is going to be one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. So it starts out very similar. We're going to play the seventh fret on the D string, the seventh fret on the A string, then we're going to ghost an open D string, and then we're going to play seven two times, then five, four, all on the D string, and then we're going to play the seventh fret on the A string after that. So just listen for the rhythm. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. So let's play that together. One, two, three, four. So now let's play the last four bars of the ukulele solo. So this is starting at the ninth measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
Now let's play the entire line underneath the ukulele solo. One, two, three, four. So this leads us into the bridge of the song. The bridge is its own little section. It kind of borrows some of the walk downs we've done before, but there's a couple of new things about it as well. So here's how the bridge sounds. One, two, three, four. So for the bridge, we're going to start on the 5th fret of the A string. Then we're going to play the 4th fret of the D string, followed by the 7th fret. And then we're going to ghost the open A string, or we can hit it normal. So I just kind of hit it a little bit quieter, is what I do. And then for the next measure, we're going to play the 5th fret on the A string. And then we're going to play the 7th fret on the D string starting on the upbeat after beat two. So here's those two measures together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Now let's play it together a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. So the next two measures sound like this. Two, three, four. So the third measure of this section starts on the fifth fret of the E string. Then we play the seventh fret of the E string. Then we kind of ghost that same note. And then we're going to do the walk down that we did at the end of the ukulele solo. So this is the 7th fret on the D string, two times, then the 5th fret, then the 4th fret, still on the D string, then after that we're going to move to the 7th fret of the A string. So let's do those two measures together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So let's play the first four measures of the bridge together. One, two, three, four. All right, so the fifth measure of the bridge starts on the fifth fret of the A string once again, and it sounds like this. So we've got 5th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, then we ghost the open A string, and then we have the 5th fret on the A string again, then we ghost the A string again, then the 5th fret on the A string, you guessed it, again, and then after that we have the 6th fret on the A string and the 7th fret on the A string. So let's play that one together. One, two, three, four. So after that, we wait almost two complete measures to get into verse three. All right, so let's play the whole entire bridge together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and we're back to the verse. So after we're through with the bridge, we've got a verse, a chorus, another bridge, another verse, another chorus, and then we're all the way to the outro. 
So the outro is almost exactly like the intro, with the exception of we're not going to play the last two notes. So those are the fifth fret on the E string. We're just leaving those last two out. All right, guys, that's the whole song. I hope you enjoy playing along with the backing track, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed learning this tune, a really fun one to play on U-Bass. And don't forget that if you want to get the tabs and download the backing tracks so you can play along with the entire band, that's going to be available at this page, or you can go to rockclass101.com and just do a search for Rock and Robin New Bass. And don't forget also that on screen tab viewer is available as well. So, that interactive tab player, really, really cool asset that makes learning this song much easier. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.